down on it looked like at the moment it could have it looked like you were in pain, obviously. It could have been serious. I know you kind of get some help off into the locker room. Was it one of those things that cleared up pretty quickly? Did it bug you the whole second half? Tell us about um, the, you know, the injury. Um, when I went to the treatment room, um, that was hurting a lot. And then uh, I ran a little bit in the, in the hallway. That was hurting a little, a little. And then when I got in, that was hurting. But when I was, <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I was warm, that was OK, actually. So it eventually did stop hurting in the what, fourth quarter? or Yeah. It was still hurting a little, but that was OK. Your, your confidence game by game in the last game of a double-double seems to be growing like every minute. Sideline jumpers and move to the hoops. Can you, what is your mindset there? Do you, do you feel very aggressive, like, hey, I, I belong here, I'm confident about playing here? Um, I feel like my teammates makes me feel confident because they play with me, and we don't find that everywhere. So, yeah, that's, yeah. Is this success early on like something you expected after your redshirt season? Um, not really. I mean, I guess, I guess yes, because we were trying, like, last year they were trying to play a lot with the Maya too. So, yeah. And obviously in the fourth quarter uh, for T.I., in the fourth quarter um, was the best quarter of the game for you guys. You outscored them 16-8. Like um, what was the difference, and what did Coach talk to you about before the fourth quarter? Um, I think, you know, uh, he just told us to dig deeper, and we had to push, push harder than, you know, the first three quarters. Um, it obviously wasn't really the result we were thinking we should be at. We thought we should be ahead by a little bit more. So, you know, I think we all just looked at each other and told each other we're going to push harder. And our defense, we need to stop them shooting threes, getting out and get stopping them from open threes. So I think that helped us. And the first three quarters is kind of a sloppy game with turnovers. Could you kind of mention that you guys may have, like, maybe underestimated them and not expected Bucknell to be this good. Like, did you see that? And, like, what do you think was, like, the main reason for the turnovers? <laughs> I think it was our, like, we weren't poised. We weren't playing with, um, yeah, poise. So we were rushing things. We were throwing the ball away. Silly turnovers, really. Things that we can control and that we could control. And, you know, I think, you know, looking forward, we need to work on that, just staying composed and letting things come to us instead of forcing things. And Miranda, you had the N1-3 uh, at halftime. I think Tiana, you had the uh, bug at the end of the third quarter. How much, how much do those bug at the end of quarters? I think they both gave you guys six point leads through the breathing room. Like, how much do those bug at the end of the quarter help you guys? I mean, I think it's always good to, you know, have the last shot. But um, I don't know. I guess it's a good feeling, especially when they just made a shot before that to, like, almost tie the game or um, have one point ahead of us. But... It's a, good, it's a good feeling. Yeah, it helps us continue on into the next quarter harder and in a better mood, you know, you're happier, every, you're excited. It definitely helps us move into that next quarter in a better mood. Tiana, Q said he's bugging you a lot. He's <laughs> bugging the crap out of you, was a good quote. <laughs> um, wh wh do you agree? What does that mean? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I guess. <laughs> um, obviously, I I don't know how many things I did wrong, but probably a lot. And he was yelling at me and stuff. And you know, I just listen to him and take what he has to say and try and change it for like the next play and the next game, things like that. So. You meant just kind of asking to slow down mm -hmm. when that's really not your game. And he said he's just got to let you go. So I think he's talking big picture of the four games. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you feel that? Do you, do you feel like? you're playing up to potential or do you feel constrained just for whatever reason? No, I don't feel constrained. Um, you know, I, I feel like I can play slow, I can play fast if I want, like depending on the kind of game it is, if we're trying to push it or if we're trying to slow it down. Um, I just try and listen to him and whatever he thinks is best for the team, that's what I'll do. Tiana, you were talking about how from the third quarter to the fourth quarter, Coach Q said you need to stop letting them shoot threes. Uh, mm -hmm. But it seemed like in the fourth quarter, there were some times where we were leaving open lanes. So how mm -hmm. did you feel like you were overcompensating for the threes a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, but we do have to sit down and guard the ball. Uh, I think they got way too many open, like, rip and drives to the for a layup. So I think 
even though we're guarding the three-point line, we still had to do a better job at guarding the ball and when they're penetrating on us. Tiana, where is this team's potential? Uh, how close are you to reaching that potential? I think we have a lot of potential. I think, you know, we're a championship team. We can go all the way to the end. Um, and that's our goal. Um, I don't think you guys, I don't think we've shown everyone what we can really do. Um, because we have a lot of players who are great players and we have a lot of, we do have a lot of potential to make it to the end. And, you know, I think we still have a lot of practice and chemistry has to fall a little bit better together. And that'll definitely come as the season goes on. So I think, yeah, we have a lot of potential. And Q said he's not interested in getting any sunshine at all down in Mexico. Three games, three wins, hotel room, court, that's it. But I know you, as you are very dedicated athletes yourself, locked in on those three games. Is that, is that your mindset as well? Just get the job done, three and oh, forget the sun and sand, just come back? Oh yeah, for sure. It's a it's a business trip. I mean, we're you know we're going down there. We're looking to win all three games. Um, the setting in Cancun is very nice. Um, <laughs> I'm sure we'll get a little free time, lunch break, but like a <laughs> lunch break, but business trip. Like we're going to win. I have an MP finally got her first point in time with you guys this season uh, for her career. She scored a couple points. Like, how excited were you guys for her? And like, what do you think she can give this, to this team? Um, I was really excited because she was waiting for that for a while. And what was the next question? Like, what do you think like, she can give to this team this season once she like, gets into the rotation? Oh, MP is very aggressive, so I think she can bring aggressivity. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And uh, she can shoot too. Yeah, and in defense, she's, she, she's like wide and big. So yeah, she can bring a lot to the team. You mentioned uh, in, in the single you obviously just mentioned the high number of turnovers. <laughs> In the paint today, uh, I don't know how that breaks down, but t turnovers and then mm -hmm. um, is that just part of the process of finding your footing, becoming comfortable, uh, a couple three second calls. Uh, what are you seeing as far as the turnovers uh, on the inside play? On the, on the paint? I don't understand the question. Yeah, paraphrase a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of turnovers. Do you feel like they're coming and trapping you, doubling you? Oh, uh, today, today? No, I didn't feel like they were coming and trapping me. And um, when I turn the ball over, it's when I'm going too fast. Mm -hmm. So I just need to slow down and, you know, take my time. For Tiana Miranda, I just asked my this question, but like she's become one of your leading scorers this year. Like, have, have you? Do you expect that last season going into this season after her, after she arrived here? Yeah, I do. For sure. In practice, <laughs> she practiced with us last semester, and uh, you know, she's in practice. We could tell she's going to be one of our best players, like, is scoring and. Um, and a big inside presence. Even so. yeah, even in practice last year, we could we could all see you know the potential. And like T said, in practice. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>